Last year my hair looked like this. And let me tell you, I did not like it. And as I am a guitar playing YouTuber, I had to watch myself on video all the time, which resulted in that I often cropped out the top of my head when editing my videos. But there are some rare footage where you can actually see the disastrous hairstyle. It ain't pretty. Hey guys, and welcome back to another... Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Anyway, now one year later, this is not a problem anymore. Going through a hair transplant surgery is a big deal for everyone. But I really think my story stands out a little extra. It's almost too crazy to be true. When I decided to do my hair transplant surgery at Acacia Medical in Stockholm, Sweden, they told me that Swedish television was interested in filming one of their patients during surgery for their documentary. And they asked me if I was up for it. And I freaked out a little, but I agreed on it. Now the documentary has aired and everything and has been seen by like half a million Swedes, which is a lot for such a small country. But it turns out that that would be nothing compared to the incredible breakthrough I would get on social media. Many of you have seen my hair transplant video here on YouTube, which has passed 600,000 views. And as if that wasn't enough, I started posting on my small TikTok account, which had like 200 followers. And these videos have gathered like 9 million views or something. Now hold on, because it gets weirder. I was never affiliated with the clinic in any way, which is obvious because in this viral YouTube video with half a million views, I never mentioned their name even once. Sorry. But because of the huge success on social media, I contacted the clinic to suggest some sort of paid collaboration where I could maybe get a kickback for every new patient I recruited. Now this collaboration didn't happen. But instead, the owner of the clinic, Firo, called me up and said, I want you to work here at the clinic. So now, one year after my uh, surgery, I am now an employee at Acacia Medical Hair Clinic. How crazy is that? So, if you were to do your surgery at the same clinic as I did mine, then uh, we'll probably meet. 